So I'll just straight on go to the the examples that I have of the studies that that took place. So I'm going to look at two examples. The first one was immunization in law in LMIC, particularly in Uganda, and the second one was about the neonatal health care study. So the first one, the problem was we're looking at the occurrence of epidemics despite effective vaccines. And we looked at um, an example, measles cases and the deaths per year. That was back in 2006. And then we're looking at the infants that were not vaccinated. So we see that 75% of these live in developing countries. And on the other hand, we see that there are many approaches and interventions that have been applied, but immunization coverages are still low. The rates are still low. So the question is, what should we do? What techniques should we do? Should we employ to try and see that we can, that can help us understand, basically, first of all, understand the immunization system, the immunization issues that can help us to be able to increase or suggest interventions that could possibly in increase. So we went out in the field and first of all identified the key stakeholders and the first major stakeholder were the mothers because it is the responsibility of these mothers to take the infants for immunization. So like I said, we did a study in the um, district, four counties, we looked at mothers, and we chose this district because it has got multiple tribes. So we knew that there would be definitely different cultural beliefs and would be able to capture a bit more. We also had, there was an island on, on, this, on this study, and we, di we, we did a study on the island because the situation on the island is certainly different from the one on the mainland. So we try as much as possible to, cap to capture the urban and also the rural, the rural beliefs and the rural um, assess how they receive health care, uh, the hospitals available, are the drugs available, and so on and so forth. In addition, we went to the health facilities and in the health facilities, look, interviewed the people who actually do the vaccination, the people who do the, um, the people who handle the stocks, those who get the stocks from the districts, and we also went to the service provider, the people who import, who import the vaccines, and so on and so forth. So in this methodology, basically when you're looking at uh, causal loop diagrams, you look at stage one, two, and three. The rest of stage three happens after you've had your influence diagram and you use it for dynamic modeling. And influence diagrams or causal loop diagrams are a good foundation for dynamic modeling because you look at all these variables and you pick, pick out what aspects you feel, um, what aspects you feel are important or what you feel which part of the system you feel you want to capture. So the rest of the, um, the, rest of the stages are related to the dynamic modeling. So first of all, we identified the system boundary and we categorized the immunization system into four. We said there's the part that focuses on the immunization, the part that focuses on the vaccines, are they in the cold chain and everything? And then the healthcare service, the health workers, the equipment at the hospital level. And then more importantly, we also looked at the community. What happens to the community? So out of that, then we mapped out the boundary. Like you said, it could go on and on, but at some point you need to map out what boundary, what aspects do you want to capture in this? And then, so, out of that, then we're able to identify who our key stakeholders are and 
able to identify the key processes and activities that we would want to have, and also the flow of information. So having come up with this system diagram, then it was easy for us to know who are we going to interview, where are we going to find them, what else do we need to know, who else do we need to engage. So I'll just only show the dynamics involved in the demand, so we're able to come up with that kind of, of, um, of causal loop diagram. Like I said, it can be so big, so it's better to, you can always split it up into different, so that it focuses on different aspects. So here you're able to see the relationships, you're able to see the feedbacks and the delays, you're able to see the root causes, like if it's the demand for immunization, what are the key things that need to be done for, this, for these mothers to be able to take their children for immunization? So having looked at that, one other important thing that we found out was you're able to discover the data that is not being captured by the health information system. What system needs to be developed to be able to, to, to help to improve the effectiveness of the immunization? Okay, uh, family, mother's availability. We have family responsibility, social status, poverty level, and level of trust. Uh, those are the ones you're talking about? Okay. All right. So then, is that better? Okay, here we have uh, the demand for immunization, and we picked out three key things that need to be that need to be improved for this for that need to be doing good for this demand for immunization to improve. Here, the, at the top, we have level of immunization awareness, and we have all these different ways that we can improve the immunization awareness. And all this information came from the mothers in the community who they felt would be the best to give them, would give them immunization information, who they trusted most. And here we also have the availability. We found that the mothers are too busy. They go out in the gardens to dig and so on. So they do not have time because of the poverty and their social status, they do not feel it's very important to go for immunization. And at the bottom here, we have the level of trust in the health system. And this also stems from the supply side, that is the service providers. If the service providers are not doing well, then the mothers will not trust them well enough to take their children. Okay, so then after building up the causal loop diagram, then we had to take it for validation. And these are the participants of the model validation, broke it down into smaller pieces and created a verbal statement explaining each, each loop, a verbal statement explaining each loop so that the person reading this would easily understand what, what, what this means. And then those were the people that participated in the model validation. The more, the better. And some of them would say, no, this variable is not right. No, this one, use, we don't use this language in health. Use this other language and that kind of thing. So it helped us come up with a better CLD. So the last illustration I want to give is work in progress. Grace, we submitted this paper with um, one of the authors, Tagrid, here. We've been looking at neonatal health care in Uganda. And the concern was that we still see that there are so many newborn that die. So we went out to carry out a study to see how best, what are the issues. And if we came up with the causal loop diagram, what, issue, what factors would come out of that and what interventions can be proposed. 
So stakeholders involved in the study, we still went out to look for the mothers and the community. We looked at 16 village health workers. We realized that these health workers are the people who visit the mothers during, um, during postnatal care. And we also looked at the community leaders. We realized that in Uganda, community leaders are really a great influence. So then we also looked, went out to interview health workers, frontline health workers, nurses, midwives, and doctors, and so on, leaders in policy. Uh, in this study, specifically because of the funding, we did not look at uh, rural versus urban. What we what we looked at mainly was rural, and maybe a bit of peri-urban, but we did not go out to look at the, we looked at urban, not rural. So we really did not go into the deep in the villages to pick out the issues, and I know certainly that that would create a big difference if we really went out to the, to the rural. Again, it's, it's not so clear, but, I'll just only show the demand side, and we realize that it's important to look at the health of the mothers, find out their awareness on maternal health care, and also importantly is the mothers attending antenatal care because if they do, and hospital deliveries and postnatal care, because if they do, this greatly affects the neonatal health care. So we looked at this and each of them you see that there are different aspects that really help you to appreciate what, what variable. If it is the health of the mothers, what are the so many things that really help the mothers, that contribute to the health of the mothers, which in turn will contribute to the neonatal health care. So all in all is, Causal loop diagrams provide a holistic view of a system. They help us to see what the different variables are, how they're related to each other, is it positively or negatively, and they help us to propose what data is missing, what factors are missing, and when coming up with interventions, we are able to come up with interventions that are involving all stakeholders that are relevant to all stakeholders. Oh. So, when we validated this, this causal loop diagram, we, we looked at different people. We picked out people from Uganda, people from Peru, from Norway, from WHO, so we try as much as possible to involve many stakeholders in the validation, because here we're looking at people who are concerned with, with the maternity, gynecology, and also neonatal issues, so that we make sure that all these issues are taken care of. A lot of feedback was given from these people, and this helped us to further improve our causal loop diagram. Yes, I will just stated that. And those are the benefits. We are able to recognize all stakeholders, design relevant interventions, build interventions based on existing structures in the community, and then we strengthen the ownership of, of the interventions because they really come out from the stakeholders. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was, that was very helpful.